In Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, there are so many fun things to do. So many Pokemon to catch, so many clothing items to buy, but all these great things require you to have something. Money. So today, I'm going to teach you the easiest way to get lots of money in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, and I'm going to be giving you four fantastic tips on how you can really add some zeros to that bank account. Alright, without further ado, let's jump right into it! Alright, so for the first method, you're going to want to head over to Pewter City and head over to the top left corner near the museum. This is the lady that we're looking for. So when you start to talk her, she starts to nag you about her slowpoke saying, Oh my gosh, my slowpoke won't move, but I want to go inside the museum. Can you watch it for me? And if you say yes, she'll go inside the museum, have her little adventure, and when she comes back out, she'll give you the item, the Big Pearl. Now, the Big Pearl is great because you could sell that at a Pokemart for 4,000 Poke Dollars, and you could do this extremely early in the game as soon as you first get to Pewter City. The only bad thing is you could only do this once a day, so if you come here every day, that's a very easy 4,000 Poke Dollars. Next up, another little trick that you could do once a day is head over to Fuchsia City. And once you're in Fuchsia City, you're going to go to the right a little bit from the Pokemon Center and go to the Warden's House. Now, if you go to the back of the room, you'll see a giant rock covering a wall. Use your partner Pokemon to push it out of the way. Let's go, Eevee. Push this rock. And then once it's out of the way, you'll see a little Diglett behind there. So you'll talk to the Diglett, it'll say Dig, and then it'll give you a Nugget. The Nugget's another item you'll be selling to Pokemarts, and that will get you 5,000 Poke Dollars per Nugget. Now these next two tips are going to be methods that you could only use after you've beaten the main storyline of the game, so you've beaten the Elite Four and become the champion. This one is my personal favorite and the best way to make money in this game, and that's by going to Cerulean Cave, going up to the second floor, and clicking on the little highlighted patches on the ground. The little patches on the ground have a chance of having an item inside of them, and there are lots of different items they could give you like Pokeballs, Master Ball is included but very rare, some fossils, but what we're really looking for and really hoping to get here are Golden Berries, either the Golden Raspberry or the Golden Nanab Berry I believe it's called, and the reason we want those berries is because when you sell them to the Pokemart, they sell for about 2,500 Poke each. Now that's less than the items that we found before through doing those little quests, however this is not limited to once per day. Once you check all the spots and there's nothing else left on that floor, all you need to do to get them to respawn is take a bunch of steps. My favorite way of doing this is going outside a Cerulean Cave and then hopping on my ride Pokemon, so Dragonite, and just flying around for basically a minute, maybe a minute and a half. And then once I do that, if I go back inside of the cave, a lot of items will respawn in those patches, and I can just keep doing that over and over and over again, and get lots of money by selling the items I get. I haven't seen the numbers confirmed yet online, but I did some testing myself with a max repel to count my steps, and I noticed that it takes about 256 steps to get the items to respawn in this cave. The way I like to do it to get those 256 steps really quickly is just go outside of the cave, hop on a Pokemon that can fly, so for me, Dragonite, and just fly around for maybe a minute, and then I'll come back in the cave, check all the spots again, and get lots of items. You can keep doing this over and over and over again, and you will have lots of money in no time. And last, but most certainly not least, after you beat the game, you can rebattle the gym leaders and of course the Elite Four again, and when you beat those guys, they'll give you plenty of money. Just be warned, because since you've beaten them already, they're going to have very powerful teams, so make sure your team is ready for the challenge and you could give these guys a good whooping so you could get some money. If you use these four methods that I taught you, you will be rolling in the dough in no time and you'll have lots of money to do whatever you want in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. So guys, I hope this video helped you out, and I hope it gives you all the money that you need to do whatever you want in these games. So if it did help you out, please give this video a big thumbs up, because that helps me out, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next Pokemon video.